Welcome back to Middle Hill Whiskey Snobs. I'm Johnny Fish. Now that the airline brought back my bag, we can show you what we picked up while we were down in Kentucky with Oasis Liquors doing barrel picks. We had a little bit of time here and there to pick up a little few things. This one I ain't never seen. Little Jim Beam Sunshine Blend. I just thought maybe it was an alternate label. The lady at the liquor store claims that no, it's a whole different mash bill. We have to try that one out. I mean, 20 bucks or whatever. I couldn't pass it up. The other one I picked up from there was Jim Beam Winter Reserve. It says notes of vanilla, cinnamon. I've never seen nor heard of it. Fall's coming. Holidays is coming. We're going to be trying that one out. And our first uh, barrel pick we stopped at was called Larrikin. Um, they're originally called Lawrence Bird Bourbon Company. This is their high wheat rye whiskey. Tried to sample that. That's some good shit there. And this is their new label, Larrikin, bottled in bond. And these cool little sticker thing on here. You tap your phone to it and give you all the information about that particular uh, batch for that bottle. Um, there's a sample of our little barrel pick that we did. That was some good shit. But anyway, if you're ever at Wild Turkey, Larrikin's only about a mile, mile and a half down the road. You should swing in, grab yourself a four. That's some good shit right there. That following morning, man, we hit up, oh, 1792. Did a bottle and bomb and foolproof. After that, we kind of ran around to the old Willet distillery. Apparently this one here, you can only buy at the distillery. This is Old Bardstown Bottled in Bond. Sample of that was pretty good. We also picked up one I had never seen before. Just because, you know, I like oddball stuff here. This one's called Speak Easy. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Distilled, aged, and bottled by Willet. It's on 98 proof. Look pretty good. We'll do a review on that and let you know how that one go. Wasn't too bad. I think it was like $45. It's a pretty good one. After that, we kind of did a little bit of running around. We hit up old uh, Heaven Hill. Did a couple barrel picks out there as well. Since it takes forever for crap to get here to Denver, I went ahead and picked up that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B524. We still have A124 sitting on the shelf. And we know that's some crap juice right there. So hopefully this one takes the cake. Oh, what else, man? We kind of one of them all off days between barrel picks. Old Ryan ran over to Jim Beam. As you can see, we were able to pick up that old Granddad 16. That's some really good shit. He waited three hours in the tropical depression at Hurricane Helena stuff, just leftovers that was up in Kentucky. He picked that one up. That one's really good. He also picked up the old Baker's 13 that just came out. That's a pretty good one there. He's a big Baker's fan. So when I went back, I picked up some bottles of that old granddad. 16 as well. I also picked up that old Overholt cast strength. Straight Y risky 11 year old. Let's try that one out, man. We haven't been big fans of rye. But lately we've been getting on these cast strength ryes and it's pretty good. I also picked up that high rye seven bourbon. You know, I guess it's Baker seven high rye. We'll be trying that one out here soon too. And I also picked up that old black labeled bottle in the box. Little book, infinite. From my understanding, all the members of the family, when they're little products, they pour it into the batch. And a little batch of this is left over, and each year they'll keep pouring. Make like an infinity bottle. So basically an infinity batch. 
has to be pretty good. I hear good things. We did head over to Bardstown. Did a good old barrel pick over there. That's going to be good. But I also picked up that old uh, Bardstown Origin Series weeded. This one really good. We tried that one out. And I picked up the old Bardstown Series number 12. So both of these are really good. Had sample pours of them. Also, while we were there, I got to try the Eagle Rare 17. Uh, 2014 batch. We also did a uh, tasting of Elijah Craig 21 year. And a rare breed from like the 1980s. That was all good shit. But my most prized purchase I bought. Yep. I paid $300 for this little one ounce pour. This here is a 27 year old purple top Willet. Only 21 bottles was produced out of that batch. There was about four ounces left in that bottle. They said once that bottle was gone, it don't exist anymore. And it just might have been a sales tactic to get my dumb ass to buy it. But I did. Because I did buy a half ounce pour to taste it. It's flipping amazing. This stuff's almost purple. That's some really good shit right there. So yes, did I pay $300 for a one ounce pour? Hell right I did. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun crap for people we keep asking you to do. We truly do appreciate it. Cheers. That's good shit. <laughs>